Happy Saturday in January, everybody. We're at the Thunderbird Inn. We're in Savannah, Georgia. We've got George Monk. That is George Monk. He is famous here. He's going to go around with us. The Thunderbird Inn. Retro signage akin to Las Vegas. Very retro hotel. Let's check it out. Hotel. Motel. Not Holiday Inn. Let's take a gander around the lobby area. We got postcards. Fresh hot popcorn for free. Juice. And in the morning, free Krispy Kreme donuts. Free coffee, free lemonade all day. Milk and creamer for your coffee. Tea. There's a little hangout area in the back. Is this for your dog walking pleasure? They are pet friendly here for an additional fee. All right, we're staying in 107. You guys get the reveal the same time as us. Here we go. Very perfumey smell. Nice room, no carpet. If you guys watch us before, like any time we go to a hotel, I prefer no carpet yes. than carpet. And <laughs> the rotary phone is killer, but it's not real rotary. You push the buttons. The bed is set up with moon pies. So you get two moon pies, and then you also get two RC colas. That's pretty nifty. You do have the ability for like an adjoining room, but you have a TV. We've got George Monk, we're gonna take him out later on. You get real glasses instead of paper or plastic cups. And look at the classic ice bucket. Non-smoking room, lampshade, retro. Mm. No closet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of aged. Uh, coat hanger, you get a fridge, towels, old school air conditioner, mm -hmm. and then this is the bathroom. So you get their soap and shampoo and a lot of good stuff in here. And I'm charming. And I should mention that while Thunderbird Hotel looks very basic, it is a very basic place. It's meant for you to just come and stay, enjoy Savannah on the outside of this window, <laughs> and come back here to rest. The pricing is very inexpensive. So for one night, it's a buck and change for you to come and stay here. And it is uh, $15 a night, at least at the time of this video, to park in the parking lot. No complaints so far. We'll see how the noise gets later. I will say in comparison, the last time that we were here and the reason why we wanted to come back and check this place out uh, ourselves and stay here is that right, like literally up the corner is where we stayed the last time that we were here, um, just like over a month ago. And it was like two and change a night to be able to stay uh, one block up that way from more of a name hotel. There's like a little remote control here to, to adjust the air conditioning. So George Monk is just chilling in bed with us. We're watching the hotel channel. Talking about sales, but they also talked about taking George Monk out on the town, which we're gonna do tonight. We're doing a haunted pub crawl. You can get box water at the front desk for 250. So of note, the Thunderbird Inn was built in 1964 and it's on the National Register for Georgia. It's ranked as one of the top 10 retro hotels in the country. And there's take George the Monk out on the town, hashtag Georgia Monk. Well, interrupting the flow of the video, just to give you a postscript, uh, we spent the night, the bed, very, very comfortable. The shower, delightful. Hot water, worked well. Everything, very basic. I mean, the shower structure kind of reminds me of uh, what you get at like the gym, you know, like Planet Fitness or the Y or something, but mm -hmm. overall, no complaints about the room. It's very good. There's some things like this, I mean, that are minor. If you look where you put your clothes, it looks like, you know, kind of the fact that you're facing out to the street and, you know, they probably could use a dose of weather stripping around the door, etc. It shows signs of being in the south and humidity. So, just those things to consider. You still got retro music playing outside too. 
We're gonna get our breakfast on. And here we are at breakfast. Free Krispy Kreme donuts. Oh my goodness. Free juice? Coffee? Donuts. All right, we're headed out of the Thunderbird. As you can tell, we're walking. We got George Monk with us. The plan is to do a few different things here tonight. A lot of them involve alcohol, which Savannah is very well known for. You can open carry in Savannah if you didn't know what that means. You don't have to have like brown bagged or things covered up if you're walking around the streets. In a plastic cup. Yeah. You can just openly walk the streets with your alcohol. Emperor Palpatine lives here? And since we are going to consume a bunch of alcohol, hence the stay at the Thunderbird. All right, we're down by Congress. We're gonna head to this dive bar that was recommended as one of the best dives in town, the Rail Pub. Head it in. All right, I got a service brewing company, Rally Points from Savannah. There is a Highland Brewing oatmeal porter. And this is what it looks like in here. Oh, hello there. Bad monkey. That's not for you. Check out the clock from Marlboro. When was the last time you saw cigarette branded merchandise? This beer is delicious. By the way, this bar features a special during the week with chicken strips and 40 ounce beers. 40. And if you're worried about your 40 getting warm, they have a koozie the size of a 40. There's plenty of free peanuts to go around as well. It's like instant love for this place. Trying to house beer, rail house water. There's also darts and a full outside. There's a whole outside bar, karaoke happening. The rail pub was awesome. I literally had to cash out because I would have spent my entire night there. <laughs> I love that place. That place is awesome. <laughs> we need to make our way down Congress though so that we can head towards something sustainable to eat instead of peanuts and beer. We're passing the Prohibition Museum. We went there the last time we were here. You can check out the video up above. Continuing our journey. But there is something to see everywhere on virtually every street intersection in Savannah. This is our next destination. We're gonna get dinner at the trailer park. Trailer, trailer park. Yeah. Live sensibly. Cocktails and dreams, baby. Aruba, Savannah, live sensibly. Let's get dinner. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, look at the menu. They got all kinds of cool things like chili hummus, PB and J wings, chicken biscuits, trailer park pot pie, the chupacabra, which is a chimichanga with sausage and eggs. And then what I think I'm gonna go with, chicken and pancake tacos. We have sloppy joes, fried bologna, grilled cheddar cheese, grilled apple pie sandwich. Mary's gonna get the shrimp and grits tacos. Check out the old beer cans and bottles. Mary's going cocktail this time, it's cherry cola. Literally Kool-Aid in there. <laughs> I've got a Pretoria Golden Ale. Some real good food. We've got the chili hummus to start with. Oh my god, that is delicious. Oh my god. These are chicken pancake tacos with a strawberry salsa on top. What? There you got shrimp and grits tacos. What is happening here? I don't know how this is arrived at, but it works. It is so sweet, so salty, so savory. It is delicious. Mary is complaining that it's too spicy for her with her shrimp and grits tacos. Can't be a lightweight. How much spice did you eat in your food before you met me? Nothing. <laughs> You gotta kick it up a notch. This is what it looks like in here, by the way. Very nice. So we have a lot of pictures of different trailers and then they have an outside bar and places to eat as well. So that wraps dinner at Trailer Park. I can't say enough good things about it. Tonight, all aces so far. 
So we're heading back the other way. We're gonna head to Moon River Brewery, which is heralded for being haunted. So we're heading towards Moon River Brewing. This building, once upon a time, was a hotel. Then it was a storage place for coal and for lumber. And you can see in the window, they have multiple advertisements for supernatural tours. And we're gonna look at the exterior. The building has worn many hats over the years. And it is pet friendly. Outside so George Monk can go in. I got a Twinkling Tassels beer, which is basically a holiday cookie beer. This is what it looks like in here. Pretty nifty, I love the brickwork. Mary got a chocolate porter. George is almost like falling over at this point. George, are you okay, buddy? Are you gonna be able to do the ghost tour? I'm a little worried. Our time at Moon River has come to a close. We're gonna cut this video off at this point. We are heading to a haunted pub crawl after this. And we'll upload that video after this. So you guys can check that out as well. For now, thanks a lot for coming along with us. Thanks for checking out the Thunderbird and all these fine establishments that we visited here today. Yep. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. See you guys.